Hey guys, Naisha here. You know, just an average girl. You remember that video that I posted where I talked about the 35th anniversary that I purchased from um, a UK website? Uh, what do you call it? 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 Yes, Zavi. That's it. Yes, 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 yes. I'm starting to really like this website and I just recently purchased an item that to me I thought was pretty neat to have. And not only is it limited edition, it's limited worldwide. So why don't we open the box and I'll show you what's inside. All right, now let's see what we have here. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, this looks interesting. All right, here it is guys. This is Zavi's exclusive limited edition 24 karat gold-plated Autobot and Decepticon medallions. There are only 1,984 pieces worldwide, which is the same year the first film was released. Although I could have sworn it was 1986, but what do I know? It is officially licensed and it comes with its own uh, display stands for, uh, for each of them. And like I said, this somehow caught my interest. And just from the looks of it, it looks fabulous. Let's check out the back. All right. So we know that it came from Zavi because it came from the UK. Authentic. And I have 899 out of the 1984. So yes, this is limited worldwide and it is 24 karat gold plated. Now it's time we open up this bad boy. Mother <laughs> Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking, gold-plated is fake. Well, yes and no. Actually, gold-plated items are coated with a layer of real gold. And in some cases, that layer can be quite thick. So, for example, remember in 1999 when Burger King came out with those 23 karat gold-plated Pokemon cards? Well, I still happen to have mine. I believe that this is a thicker layer of gold than what the 24 karat medallion has. A few moments later. The reason why I'm wearing gloves is that when it comes to gold plated items, they can get tarnished over time based on, um, you know, where you put it and how the humidity of, the, of where you live. So that's why I'm wearing gloves because I don't want the oils of my hands getting involved with this because after I open this, I'm probably gonna keep it back in the box and, and stuff because again, I don't want this to get tarnished. So after I surgically remove the plastic film, I'm going to now open up the box. Open! Damn it! Open! Wow. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. All right, let's start with the bad guys because we're going to save the good guys for last, of course. All right, under it, I feel... Yep, there's the stands. But... Here it is. I mean, when I was looking at the picture, it looked, it didn't look, it looked fake. But seeing it up close, this is really not bad. Yeah, yeah. So what other aloes is in here? Whether this is silver or, you know, some type of tin in here? I mean, at least the layer of gold that's covering this, it looks fantastic. All right, so now let's look at the Autobots. All right, once again, more than meets the eye, Autobots roll out. Also Hasbro and Transformers. So overall, this really isn't bad. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the stand and see what it looks like. So again, let's look at them. We have Autobots where Autobots roll out. And then we have the Decepticons where it's Decepticons attack. Yeah, just listen to that clink. And I mean, they are a little hefty. So I'm a little curious to how much they weigh. So let's try it out. Both the Autobot and Decepticon medallion weighed about 2.2 ounces. Whereas my Mewtwo card, it weighed about 2.0. So overall, it's a nice item to have. In all honesty, it only cost $25.99 and that doesn't include shipping and handling. I just liked it because I liked the look of it. I love the case, I love the display, and to actually hold it, it has a, you know, a nice hefty weight to it. And, you know, I just found it that it was a limited edition and there's only 1,984 out there in the entire world. And to actually have one, I think that's kind of neat. If you want, I'll leave a link below where you can buy it while supplies last. And if you want to keep it as a collection, go for it. So yes, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. This is Naisha, and I'm just an average girl. Stay tuned.